you need each other and you need to support each other. And as I always state, you are not competitors. And I think the big mistake we have made is by making each other competitors. We are not competing. We have yet to satisfy our respective markets. Our problem is that we are not working closer together to meet the demands that our people have. And as I was telling another gathering, you know, these borders, and I also mentioned to my brother, these borders that you create silos for yourselves amongst, you must always remember, are not your creation. These were creations of people outside of this continent who made these borders not to develop you, but to extract from you. Now that you want to develop yourself, we must start looking at these borders and we must start removing the barriers that we have put that have defined and de defined us in the past and now hinder us from being the giant that we should be. I was telling my brother this morning the ridiculousness of our borders that we in Kenya have a border demarcated with, on one side with Tanzania, where the people who live on the border are the Maasai community. They were a nation once upon a time. Now today, they are Kenyans, they are Tanzanians, and yet they are relatives, but they live on two sides of a border. This is not proper. I was telling him of another example. To our west, Lake Victoria, where again another boundary was drawn between Kenya and Uganda. And where at one particular moment in time, between 2005 and 2007, we had two brothers. Same father, same mother. Those who come from polygamous families know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but this particular one, the same father, same mother. But because their land was stretched across between Kenya and Uganda, one brother inherited land on the Ugandan side, the other brother inherited land on the Kenyan side. And between 2005 and 2007, we had one brother as the vice president of Kenya and the other brother as the minister in charge of the presidency in Uganda. <laughs> now, I don't know whether you can find a much more ridiculous situation to explain <laughs> the kind of position some of us find ourselves in. So these borders were not made for us. If we are going to become manufacturing giants, we need to do away with these borders. We need to see the African market as one. We need to be able to develop giants like Airbus that makes components in the United Kingdom, that makes components in France and in other parts of Europe, but has become a global conglomerate. They didn't come together because they loved each other. We all know how they hate each other, we know. Yeah? But they've come together to survive. Africa must come together for us to survive. 